The goal of Suicide Prevention Month is to reinforce ways to prevent suicide. In 2022, over 49,000 people died from suicide, according to the CDC. One psychologist I talked to explained small factors can lead to major outcomes with suicide. A few of the main things to keep in mind when it comes to risk for suicide is that it's, it's a matter of belonging or not belonging. People really need a place to belong and it's hazardous if you don't have a good sense of belonging with your people. As students head back to the classroom, Peterson says it's a good idea for students to take care of their mental health. Two major implications that can lead to suicide are stress and anxiety. When it comes to stress and anxiety, anxiety adds to a risk factor with suicidality because anxiety is energizing. So if somebody's like very depressed and they don't have energy um, or they're not agitated, they're, they're, they can be at risk, but it's not quite the risk factors if you're agitated or anxious when you have the energy for it. The national hotline for suicide is 988. According to 988 Lifeline, people who are having suicidal thoughts felt relief after speaking with someone about their thoughts. Peterson says just speaking with an individual can make all the difference. Many schools do offer counseling for students if they are seeking help. I think I would just encourage students to trust that they're not going to be a burden. That for the most part when people come to us, us being a friend, a family member, for help that this is uh, an opportunity to be close, an opportunity to be helpful. It doesn't, it doesn't tend to be a burden. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.